So I thought today I'd show off a, a cool tool that a lot of people may be finding out about now. A lot of you may already know about it, but it's called Trigger Fire. And what Trigger Fire does is it's an overlay object and it lets your chat interact with your stream. So it'll let them trigger overlays, you know, so if you have an image or a GIF or even a video, they can trigger it from chat or a soundboard. They can do a soundboard from chat. And the cool thing about it, it integrates with Twitch and it'll also let you do channel points. So if people want to do channel points redemptions, you can create little channel point objects for that. So I'm going to show you, this is not going to be a, like a full extensive trigger fire everything because there's a lot to it and they keep adding, adding quite a bit to it. But I was just going to point out some particular things I wanted to that might help you out. Some more cool stuff so it's quite a long url i'll have this in the description below though so that you can go there so set all this up so you log in you'll see this here's some of the goofy stuff i already have set so you've got sections here images videos sounds your obs connectivity link if you want them to be able to even control obs um, and then you can group things up so you'll log in with your twitch you go here on this here's your link for your overlay link whenever that's done you'll copy that and what you're going to do is you're going to add that to obs and i would do i typically do just a full screen 1080p overlay object and you'll just add that just like you would add any other overlay so i noticed there are still several how to's telling you you needed stream elements you don't actually need stream elements anymore they actually now have their own built-in overlay link. So once you authenticate with your Twitch account, it'll set this up. You'll click this little pink icon here and you'll automatically have that overlay link. So again, you'll just copy that link. You'll add it to OBS Studio and you're set and you're ready to go. You can go into a little more details. I'm not going to cover all of these. You can just poke around and play with it. I've basically just taken the, the defaults here. So... Go ahead, get done with that. Close. So for some of the more basic things, set up images, videos, let's create something. So let's say we want to trigger an overlay image. Just select image. This is where you'll be able to upload images. Obviously, you can set the size, how long it's on the overlay. So after they trigger it, how long do you want it to be there? Do you want it to be there five seconds indefinite, which I can't really think of any reason you might want that. You can set a specific position or you can just randomize the position. Sometimes it's easier just to do that. Command name. So what you need to do, so you'll set your reward name. Now the thing about reward name is very important. You will go into your Twitch dashboard and you should already be familiar with um, setting up channel points or poking around in there. I'm not gonna cover that. I do have another video that covers that because I just don't want this one to be too long and drawn out. So. The main thing you need to know, you just set up a custom Twitch reward. And after you set up your custom Twitch channel points reward, you just make sure you name it exactly what you're gonna name it here. That's the most important thing. It will have to be case sensitive. So if you have a capital letter here or in the middle or anything, it needs to match perfectly. So you'll just take whatever that is. You'll create a corresponding name in your channel points dashboard on twitch side and you will do the exact same case sensitive so if you have a capital somewhere put it in there so you'll type that in there and you'll save if you want to allow people to run the command directly you can check this box where they don't have to use channel points so you can allow the command as a regular command too if you want either way we're going to do that save that's set up you can set up custom cooldowns or per user using it or global for everyone like i only want this to be able to trigger once every 30 minutes if it's something you know really invasive like no matter who does it so you can set you know vips only vips moderators broadcasters even founders it's pretty cool advanced section is what i really wanted to cover here so i didn't want this to be like a a really extended you know trigger fire how to use because there's several out there now so you can go and one of the coolest things I like to do is command keywords so if you're wanting something to trigger an overlay or a sound 
that I think there's a lot of creative things that may be overlooked with just this. So what I like to do is I'll go in here and I'll allow a command. I won't even bother with channel points myself for this. Allow it to run as a command. You'll have a command name. So as long as that's checked, you can go in here and command keywords. Now this is literally any word that it reads anywhere in a message. So let's say boom. And another important thing, make sure you press enter. If you don't press enter, it doesn't get saved or added. That's one thing that's tripped me up before. After you do that, click save. Now with this default setting here, whenever someone mentions the word boom, it's going to trigger this overlay and that can be anywhere in their conversation. So I do that with the handy little, hang on with the, like the Kappa that I have set up. Let's go ahead and go and look at it. So for, for example, this one, I don't even have a channel point set up for that. I just type something in. So if you're not setting up a channel point for this, don't worry about it. You can just type literally anything in there. Just make sure you have this checked right there. So on my advanced, I have like Kappa. So when anyone says anything or even uses a Kappa emoji in chat, because that's what happens whenever they use Kappa on Twitch, it actually types that out in the back end, Kappa, and it sees that. So when they use that, it triggers that. So this is just one use case. You can dig down and get way more creative. I just wanted to make sure people really knew about this one right here. Command keywords, I think, is really huge. And just like I said, keywords can be anywhere in the message and they don't require an exclamation mark. And I think that's just really creative, something you can do. So one thing I've done, what I'm starting to set up with that now, that I did an experiment with. So the way this will work you can have custom sounds is one thing I'm doing. So for your chat, for example, select a sound, upload, you know, you can have a, a sub perk, for example, like, hey, if you're a sub, just submit like some kind of custom non-copyright, you know, sound. And I'll edit it, shorten it, you know, it needs to be fairly short or something like that. And that'll be used whenever somebody mentions your name. Like it's like only your sound. So what you can do for one thing, set up your sound, whatever the sound file is, volume, go to advanced. And the command keyword that I have here is actually the username for whoever the person is. And it will pick that up. So when somebody tags someone, mentions that name in chat, it will play their custom sound. Now, that's pretty cool. That's why you're gonna want that to be pretty short. You don't wanna be like too crazy because it's gonna get on people's nerves pretty quick depending on what it is. So you can also set like a, a crazy cooldown if you want to. Maybe you just want it to happen once per stream, like kind of a, you know, kind of a, a welcome trigger or something like that. You can play with that. And that's just, that's literally, and it's set to everyone. So literally when anyone mentions that person, it's gonna play that custom sound. Of course, you can lock this down even further. You can lock it down to only moderators or whoever, or maybe you have a bot. You can have a bot that mentions whatever. Go back under advanced if you want to lock it down even more. This is how you could actually get creative and do custom commands for that only a person can do. It's like, hey, this is your sound file. So permitted user, you can actually put this, type in the username on the Twitch side, what it's going to be. And after you do that, you can do permit mode and then make it to where only that user can call that as well. So those are the main things I wanted to show. Just crazy stuff you can do. It's just very, very powerful tool. I'm not going to cover again, all the setup, but all the things you can do in this. This is an extensive how to other people have that OBS studio. You run it, you can connect OBS this way. Once you have the OBS tool set up, um, you can do the same thing here. You have command keywords. Once you get that set up, I didn't do, I, I made sure I had the exclamation mark there because I didn't want any time if anybody mentioned zoom to do zoom effect, but I actually have an overlay object that's triggered where if you, you use exclamation mark zoom in chat, it'll actually cause the overlay to zoom. So there's pretty cool stuff you can do here. Anyway, I just wanted to bring out 
those points. There's a lot of stuff you can do as a stool. There's several how-to videos out there. I don't want, I don't like to rehash things that other people, I don't want to make a how-to video just so that it's me making a how-to video on streaming stuff. So there'll be times where I may not upload for, you know, several weeks, but it's just because I'm looking for something, you know, that I don't think really covered as well. I don't want to just sit here and make something just for the sake of me making it. So you may see me make little videos like this. It kind of bring out some extra things that I see being skipped in the other videos that maybe you can dive into and uh, hope it'll help you out. So if you have any questions or comments, just let me know in the comment section below. I do have a discord. I stream on classic Caleb streams on YouTube. There's links to that. I also have a website, classic Caleb.pro that has all my contact information, some other cool stuff. And I stream on Twitch. I'm playing with Trovo at the moment. It's like all kinds of stuff. If there's anything you'd like to see me do a how to on, uh, feel free to just let me know. I do on these streams. You can stop by, say hi. We talk about streaming stuff or whatever. Just hang out. So anyway, thanks. <laughs>